Hey, what's up guys, Saltage Run. Um, I decided to do a kind of more my life commentary because I've been doing a lot, a lot of tips and tricks commentaries for the past week or so. So I'm going to talk about an experience that I had not so long ago that I thought was really pleasant to share with you guys. And since I love so much my country, Canada and Quebec, I thought I would share it with you guys even more. So um, quickly, the gameplay is a 55 and 2 HQ game on Nuketown. So... Uh, I mean, I also, I think I get like 46 kills in a row without dying like 46 on O and then I die twice. But whatever. So I wanted to talk to you guys about Sugar Shacks. Just the name of Sugar Shack is amazing and wants me want to want to eat maple syrup. So just before starting, I went to a Sugar Shack not so long ago with my brother. I have two brothers. One is 26 and one is, I think, 42 or 43. And yes, you guys are going to say, oh my god, he's old, yeah, uh, my dad is old, he's actually, I think, 66 or 67, and I'm actually uncle because my brother has a child. So we decided to go with the whole family, my brother, her wife, uh, his wife, uh, my niece, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So we decided to go to a sugar shack, so basically a sugar shack is a big wood building, more th up north where like there's less population so it's more like in the forest and everything and it's a place where they create maple syrup so maple maple syrup as maybe some of you south guys guys who live in the south uh, might not know but maple syrup is comes from actually trees and then they like boil it and then it comes maple syrup so there's there is a tradition here that almost everyone goes once a year in a sugar shack and basically a sugar shack is, as I said, a big wood building in which, in which we like kind of celebrate maple syrup. It's kind of a place that it's, it's very, very traditional. So everything is old. There's old like traditions, old music and everything. It's very unique music. It's called folklore. It's a kind of Quebec music. And um, it's like music that we sing here also at New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. So it's kind of very old. And um, basically, you go there with all your family, and you just sit on huge tables. There's other families there, and it, you can really have a good time. So also, there's also like a music. Uh, uh, usually, it's like two or three guys just playing uh, music. Usually, it's violins or uh, just singing or uh, guitar, and it's really like traditional music. Um, the the special thing about this is what you eat. And since I said, like, it's a kind of maple syrup celebration, the food is intense. So I couldn't really name the things that you eat there in uh, in English. So I, I have an internet page open right now. So basically, your entry is a pea soup, a French-Canadian pea soup with country bread and butter. After that, you have maple smoked ham, meatballs, traditional Quebecois meat pie, potatoes, baked beans, pork rangs, homemade pickles, coleslaw, and pancakes. It all comes together in like these huge kind of kind of plates and it's very delicious. And why I mentioned maple syrup, the thing is that since it's called a sugar shack, you have to put maple syrup on everything. So basically they give you like a big bottle of about two liters of maple syrup just on your table and you just put uh, maple, syrup, maple syrup on everything, on ham, on your meatballs, on your meat pie, on your potatoes, on your baked beans, on your pork rangs, on your homemade pickles, and sometimes even on your coleslaw, and it's amazing. Uh, just, just, this might sound weird for some Americans, uh, some of you guys might say, oh, like maple syrup is just for pancakes, but this is kind of a celebration we do every year, it's usually about from January to May when the snow is melting and it's just amazing also usually at those sugar shacks there's also horse rides like in a there's like two horses and then there's like a thing that they pull in the bag that like 20 people sit in it I don't know what it's it's called in English and also there's often like walks in the wood uh, on the snow with the snowshoes and um, also there's something called um, I can't really find the name right now, but oh yeah, maple taffy. Maple taffy is something that it's really unique. Basically, you take extremely hot, extremely hot uh, maple syrup, and you pour it on the snow, on like a clean snow. You leave it there for about 30 seconds to one minute, 
and then you put like a stick and you roll it so all the maple taffy rolls around your stick and it makes like a popsicle of maple syrup but it's so good because it's not too hard it's not like it's not like uh too like it's kind of a bit melty and at the same time it's hard so it makes an excellent taste in your mouth so um i really hope that you guys will have the chance one day of uh trying out the sugar shack because it's a special experience for all the family and often people like go celebrate christmas there and honestly like you will never eat as much sugar as there like even if you could buy a whole grocery store and use all their and um, i mean eat all their candies the amount of sugar in that is not even comparable to all the maple syrup that you kind of take in one night so it was an epic night I like all the music it makes you just want to be happy like I was sitting at my table because I'm a very shy guy so I don't really go and dance and here I, by the way I just died so I'm 46 and 1 I'm a very shy shy guy wow well, that's weird to say so I don't really like go out and dance like in the middle of like the dance floor but I was checking my niece my six-year-old niece she was like having so much fun and everybody was so happy like there was no one like really like sad or anything and the, the kind of the kind of music just brings us all together and we just like dance all together and i was just checking everybody and everybody seemed to be happy so we were about i would say i don't know like 75 in the room and it's a very very loud room and there's a huge fireplace it's a huge fireplace the flames of the kind of firewood is probably as high as um a human like i don't know it's maybe five five or six five or six feet tall and it's really intensely hot and even I, like in the table behind us there was a guy that was lonely so he was like probably passing christmas lonely uh, alone i mean and it like i kind of felt bad of seeing him alone on such a nice night but the fact that he came there i saw like a smile on his face while he was eating alone and it just made me so happy that that's why i kind of wanted to share this moment with you guys because it was like such a special moment and it was unique and like just I don't know how many times I'm going to say it, but everybody was ha happy just dancing, pouring, literally pouring maple syrup on all of your like, food, on your meat and everything. It was a great experience. I hope that you guys will have the chance of doing that one day. Um, this is kind of a weird commentary because I'm not very organized and I repeat myself a lot, but I just, I'm just insisting on the things that are more important, that are like unique. And this is one of those traditions in Quebec that... I feel so proud of because it's been here for let me I don't know like 100 years or 200 years so that's it guys that was my sugar shack experience I hope you guys enjoyed have a nice night and please don't eat too much sugar <laughs> peace out guys